so I got into the hangar module for Star Citizen last night. Uh, it was a bit late, so I didn't want to make anything. I was pretty beat. But this is it. Um, real quick, I do find it to be a little dark. I wish I could adjust the gamma. As you can see under the graphic settings, there's not a ton of options. Um, I do kind of like the way this moves around, I guess. I mean, whatever. Uh, key bindings. Uh, pretty standard. Look around third person. Gee, I'll have to remember that. Um, but yeah. Uh, you know, everything looks really good. The Some of the clipping, like, um, on the items here, like, it just, that doesn't actually stop you from doing anything but I mean it's way super duper early alpha so I, it, you gotta expect a lot of unfinished things but let's uh let's look at the ship uh, I swear I was opening that. come on there we go I mean <laughs> that's pretty badass the way that opens up. Um, you can also open up the other side. So it's got kind of a gall wing look um, for its entry doors. Um, this is the 325A variant. Uh, I guess a bit stronger, more weapons. Um, I mean, you can't really see... I mean, just the cables on the landing gear, but you can't really see the landing gear too well, but, I mean, it goes up into the ship. They actually have the inside of this modeled, um, and I would imagine, with the way that that opens and the attention to detail that they've been showing so far, that this is going to be, you know, it's going to look like a piece of landing gear that's going to extend and retract. Uh, using the way it's supposed to. But let's get inside the ship. Uh, the animation on this ladder is pretty good. Um, actually, fantastic. Like I'm an an like I'm a huge animator uh, critic. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the inside of your ship. Um, I, you know, I remember seeing this is supposed to be leather with the buttons, I don't remember what, I don't know what it's called, but I can't see it because it's so damn dark. Um, this is, I remember seeing this on Reddit, Reddit. this is, uh, be careful where you're flush. Uh, light, what is that? Light assy indicator, light assy indicator. I don't know what the assy is. Uh, but yeah, a, a lot of this stuff, you know, see this is the same thing on the other side. A lot of this stuff, uh, you know, is going to be, I would imagine, it's not going to be the same thing on each side. The same thing with the cockpit. You get the same knobs and, uh, knobs and dials on uh, each side. The uh, actually getting in, this is, you can see the chair is sitting right there. Um, had it looking at us. We'll go ahead and jump into it. And this is just all animated. And... You grab a flight stick, hit some buttons, do some cool stuff. Um, the mouse tends, it, it doesn't tend to, it actually gets a good bit floatier, less, I would say less responsive. It's not as, it's not as sharp. I, I, I mean, I've got, I don't know, like 6,000 DPI on this mouse. It's, it's maxed out and this is as fast as I can move it around. Now, I imagine that's mostly for dogfighting tracking, uh, so you don't, you know, jerk off things. I would hope that that's kind of, I mean, we can look key bindings game settings maybe mouse sensitivity is at 17, but when I'm not in the cockpit, it's not you know, it's not an issue. I will, I'll have to play with that. This is your entire field of view. Um, some of the knobs and dials, they you know, look great. Uh, there's not a lot going on there in those uh, center, like it just says load 29, load free, used free. It's just, I guess, some filler, you know, to make it kind of look like something's there. Uh, I would imagine that that's probably not, 
you're not going to have four, eight dials of load or free space or anything like that. Um, but, hell, it's even got that little, uh, what is that? Can I zoom in? No. Um, just a sticker on a window. Let's see about third person view here. I can't do it, huh? Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get out. Watch the animation. Pack it up. You're locking the ship up. Oh, look, cool. I didn't even notice all those little dials on the sides with the fuel uh, tucked back in. Um, but yeah. Okay, so how... I thought that was... I thought the G key... Look around. Third person. So. Uh, I can't do it. Alright. Um, this variant has... I think some... Four missiles, I think two per two per rail on the top of the wing, and then cannon in, on each side, uh, and then it's got one on the nose as well, which isn't attached right now, or else it uh, it comes out. Although I can't see where it would come out from. Gosh, gosh, I really wish I could turn the gamma up. Um, yeah, there's not a lot to this. I imagine this is where you would leave your hangar and go out into wherever you're at in the universe. Um, the animation for up and down the ladder, uh, not fantastic, especially getting on and off of it. But, again, alpha, no biggie. And uh, this isn't something... Oh, let's, see. let's try it again. Uh, yeah, it's not even close to a product that uh, is releasable. Like, I mean, all it is is a hangar module. You just get to look at your ship and walk into it and sit down and stuff. So it's not anything uh, anything that's supposed to be completely finished. You're going to run into a shitload of bugs and stuff like that. Um, I guess that's that's got to be... Uh, a docking port. That's a good looking ship. Man. I wish, uh, this is, th I think this is probably the basic hangar. There's, I guess, three tiers of hangar, depending on the ship you bought. Um, kind of bummed that this, you know, I, I what, it, what, it was like 75 bucks or something that I spent, um, that I get this hangar. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, the hangar's perfectly adequate. I don't really care too much. I just saw some pictures of the other ones and they look really cool too. I'd like to I, I can upgrade. I think I can upgrade now and get it but I, you know, I mean I already threw in 75 bucks at it. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know throw too much money, too much more money at it right now. I, am, I, I just know myself that once I get to start playing there will be more money that gets thrown into it. But you can see I just walked past the ladder. I was not trying to get off of the, the catwalk and it just trying to figure out, oh, well, I guess we're off the catwalk. It just, like, attached itself to the ladder. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. That's, uh, this is Star Citizens. Man, you really get a sense of scale with this thing, don't you? Um, I, I can't say that I've ever felt like I was in with a ship, my ship, no, no less. Uh, as much as I do with a game like this, man, it really, it really looks pretty cool. I cannot wait to get into uh, the dogfighting uh, module or alpha, whatever they want to call it, that they're going to be putting out uh, around the end of the year. Um, I really want to give this a shot, see what's, uh, see what's what. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, you can go, you can still go pledge. There's packages and all kinds of really cool stuff you can buy. Uh, I think anywhere starting from 30 bucks for a package, uh, up to as probably as much as you want to spend. Um, so go check it out. It's a big free, not free game, but a, a free open world, um, system where, uh, you know, the players make all the choices, and when the players aren't there, the NPCs will kind of do it, and then 
what they were saying is once a player jumps in, they're going to uh, drop the NPC out. That way the world is always, always, always populated and moving and bustling and doing stuff. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what um, Chris Roberts and his team has for us. Um, I think it's going to be pretty special. Uh, so uh, let me know what you think, and I will catch you guys later.